Today we're going to open some Panini Rock and Pop music stickers. These are 43 year old packs and we're going to get into them right now. I didn't even know this was a thing. Hey there everyone, my name is Reed and I want to welcome you to Collecting Music Cards right here on the Cardboard Portfolio channel. We've got a lot to get to today, so let's do it. So yeah, I ordered this a few weeks ago, got it from Australia today. And like usual, condition is going to be the, uh, the topic of this conversation. And this was, I was just on the internet one night uh, on eBay and some other sites and trying to search out some stuff and found some cards that I was looking for. Actually, I was looking for some uh, sealed packs and I bought them here. I bid on them and, well, let me tell you the story as we go here. So I'm going to start opening this up. So I went on eBay one night and I was looking for specific packs. There are certain packs that I have in my go-to that are just stuff that I always look for that if I can find them, you know, if I could find a really good deal on them, I would do it. Well, I saw these. These were amongst the list of packs that I would like to, uh, you know, break into always. And I saw these online, and the, but they were on auction. They had like six days and 22 hours to go, and I thought, well, you know, that's a long wait, but I'm going to do it. And I went ahead and bid on them, just an opening bid, so that... When the time came around that the auction was uh, going to end, it would prompt me 14 minutes beforehand, and then I would be able to go on and do the final bidding on it. And hopefully I'll be around for that, and I wouldn't, wouldn't be busy or something like that. You know how that goes. So anyway, I did uh, get around to bidding. I put in a final bid uh, when the day came, and it was, it was adequate. And so I purchased these packs, uh, these four packs, within my price range. Let me read this letter. Hi, Reed. I hope you like the enclosed. I added a bonus stain pack. Wow, so there's going to be five packs. I had, if there is anything not as you expected, please let me know. 100% satisfaction is important to me. Might have more stuff for you. If you see anything, contact me. Uh, excellent. And so he signed it. And then, are you aware of an Australian 70 set by Scarlers Pop Swaps? Yes, I am. Most stars you would never have heard of, but it does have ACDC cards. That's nice for him to have mentioned that. I wonder if he has any. 70s ACDC cards. Count me in. Wow. Wow. So that's a nice note there. Always helpful. It looks like he threw in a little bit for me. Um, what I did was I ordered these. Uh, these are 1980 packs. Oh, this pack is barely stained. Oh my gosh, this is such a bonus. Let me make sure I'm not throwing anything out here. He put it in a nice box. He packaged it nicely. Has a cardboard backing here. These are some separate cards I ordered. So what I did was this right here. I, I won the auction. It was in Australian dollars. I think it was like 90 Australian dollars for four packs of 1980 Panini Rock and Pop Collection stickers. And I, one, one, of the, one of my favorite sets, and it's got just tons of great stuff in it. And let me get these off without damaging them. And I was really happy to get them. And he seemed like a really conscientious guy that, hey, I want you to be happy. Why don't you, you know, uh, you know, he, he really was attentive to the sale, which was really cool. Well, I sent him a message through the uh, message system on eBay. And I just said, hello, I'm bidding on these packs and was wondering if you had more of them or are these the only four? And uh, he, he wrote back pretty quick. Uh, Hi, Reed, I do have some in my collection, but these are all that I am selling at the moment. I do plan to sell some singles soon. And that's what lit me up right there. He had some singles. 
and I'm always looking for great singles from this set here. So the next message I sent back to him was, thanks Chris, I'm a big fan of the 1980 set. If you plan on selling Michael Jackson or Billy Joel or Freddie or Linda Ronstadt as singles, please let me know. I didn't know if he was going to have more common singles or if he was going to have some of the stars there. So he wrote back, I just checked, I have those four plus the queen card in my near set that I plan to break up and sell. I have no plan on when to do this, cards are mint. If you win the packs, I'll send picks if you like. If you are interested, I will list them on eBay. That's when this started getting real exciting. So after that, I knew we were going to put something together. And either way, I was either going to add more product to the shipping or not. So I went ahead and paid him for the original packs that I won on auction right then. Then I knew that if we, if we came to a deal on the rest of this stuff, then he would just throw them into the shipping, maybe charge me a little bit more. So I went ahead and paid. And he replied and said, Hi Reed, thanks for the quick payment. It is Sunday here now. I will get your packs in the mail first thing tomorrow. Cheers, Chris. Then I wrote back and said, Hey Chris, thanks so much. Can you send me pics on those cards, please? The five cards that we had discussed earlier. He sent me the pics, and the pics looked really good. And he sent me two pictures. One picture of the five cards, the fronts, one picture of the backs and they were really good quality pictures and I could really tell that they were going to be nice cards. After that, I wrote him back and said, Chris, do you have any idea how much you would want for the five card lot? So he wrote back pretty quick and said, I have no idea, that's why I eBay. I see some go for a lot, but they are PSA graded. If you like, I will not post any on the site till you get your package and to be sure you are happy with the packs. I really didn't have the patience to wait to get the individual cards. I really wanted to make a move on those because it was starting to get to the point where I wanted those as much as I wanted the original packs. After that, I wrote him a message that basically laid out what I felt I wanted to pay for the cards. And I put pretty good detail in there and I really hit him strong on them. I, I really wanted the cards. I had already seen the pictures. I really wanted the card, so I, I, I hit him I hit him very strong on this. His response to me was, Hi Reed, as I said, I always usually auction as I never know. Is that US dollars? This offer seems fair. I could eBay now. Well, that was the clincher right there. I uh, knew I had hit him at the right numbers. He was excited about it. I was excited about it. He went ahead and set up the listing. I immediately bought these cards. And like he said, it was Sunday. That Monday, they were in the mail, and I got them a couple weeks later from Australia. Now remember, as always, on the internet, as far as, you know, you can only see so much on the cards. I'm gonna check the condition right now. I'm already gonna be satisfied with whatever this guy has done. You know, I mean, I, I can tell you, more than likely these are gonna be nice cards. What if they're great, though? What if they're really great? Because there's some key cards in here. And I'll show you what I got from them. I got them all at a reasonable price. I did not steal these. Uh, I paid them good money for these. I got the packs, I think, at a really good deal. But that was that was an auction. But uh, these, I offered him a price. And he says, you know what? Yeah, I'll take that. And, and, I, and uh, he included those in the eBay ad. And we added it to the eBay ad. And sure enough, he sent those along with it. And I didn't even know if this deal was really going to come together. So, if you know this set, then the hot cards that are in here, well, I probably got them in this stack. So take a look here. I got from him Queen. I got Freddy. I got Linda. I got Michael. And yes, I got Billy Joel. Now, as you're looking at these right now, I'm kind of scoping the best angles I can find on them just to see if they're really nice. And let me take a quick peek first, and then I will have you take a peek. Yeah, these are really, really nice cards. They are not wrinkled. They are not dirty. 
I can actually see all of them through here. They are not wrinkled, they are not dirty. Um, they have sharp corners, sharp edges. These are going to do very nicely. Okay, so first card we're going to take a peek at is Billy. And now when I'm get when I get something like this, you never know what to expect. Like I said, but you don't expect them to be perfect. Um, and I've got a really nice angle on glare right now. As I'm going to try to give you a nice angle on glare as well. Let's see. Just the bumpy texture of the sticker, which is beautiful. The back is really cool. Wow. Look at Billy here. Look at him. Check that out. Very excited about having this card. Wow. Check this out. Okay, there's Billy. I'm gonna put Billy in a soft sleeve to protect him, make sure I don't snag any corners. He is safely in there. <laughs> this is way better a deal than I thought. Way better. Because remember, and when you're ordering off of offline or online, you're you're you always pay a price where there's you know gonna be a little room for error if all, one of them's creased or something like that. I'm not seeing that as all, at all right here. Here's Linda. And as far as the surface, that is awesome. Linda Rodstadt. Just a beautiful card. I love that card. I don't know if you notice that centering at all, but <laughs> that is strong, strong centering right there. So, okay, let me uh, package Linda up here in uh, soft sleeve. She is safe and away. Michael. here oh yeah Michael's looking good Michael's not perfectly centered Michael is a um, a 65-35 Michael is a 65-35 65% of the margin is on the left and 35% is on the right top to bottom he looks nice by no means is Michael miscut. His glare looks like this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Here's Michael. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful card. And let me uh, get a soft sleeve out. I'll grab a couple of them. Next is Freddie. Freddie is the same thing as Michael. Freddie is a uh, 65-35 as far as centering. Let's see where Freddie is in regard to glare. Oh my gosh, it's immaculate. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Sleeve out before I start. 
Now, let's take a look at this clean card. Here's a better uh, centered card. This is about 48.52. 48% on the right and 52% on the left. Right there. It's Queen. 1980 Queen. You can see there are no creases whatsoever in that card. And there is Queen right there. Alright. Queen away. And uh, overall, I'm very happy with what I received in this purchase uh, from Australia. So what I'm going to do is, I have five packs here right now. Typically what I'll do is I'll open 15%, anything I get in packs, I open about 15% in my mail opening review, which is what this is. And then I'll set up a separate video to open the rest of them. Well, it's only five packs, so let's just open them all right now. And uh, that way, if I don't get anything in the packs, I've at least got this exciting stuff for this video. It's at least worth watching for that matter there. These packs are almost too nice to open. I mean, they are really, really just top-notch. I've got Sting. A sting wrapper. I've got a Debbie Harry wrapper. I've got a, I think this is Kate Bush. Yeah, that's Kate Bush wrapper. And I've got two Rod Stewart wrappers. One, two. And he gave me this one free because it had some slight staining on it. And I think you can see where that staining is. And this is just a real gratuity because right there, there, that's not even bad staining. I've had worse that I paid full price for. So, in this pack, there's three car there's three stickers. It's a translucent uh, front and back, so if a person really wanted to look hard enough and if they really knew the set well, um, I like this back card here, it's card number, let's see if I can find it. Let's see if we can identify any one of these before we take it out of the wrapper. I'm not able to see it, because when you get to the, when you have the white part you can see through, the red part you can't. It's just too hard. So the good news is, I can't see through it. I'm going to tell you right now, this uh, this guy who sold me these is just a great seller. I'm so excited. Uh, there's a little bit of a misprint on the back of this card back there. There's a little bit of blue. Hopefully that's not a big card. You can see that right through the wrapper. Uh, I can't see on the pictures on the front who any of these are. So with that, we're going to go ahead and open these and, uh, and see what we get. Now, being three cards in the pack, this is 15 cards. The set is 144 cards. So let's start in. Let me put the note aside. I will keep that note. It's a very nice note. Let me put this aside. Move these up. And these out of the way. Okay, let's make sure that they're looking good. Okay. There we go. Pack number one. And if you, I'll tell you what, there's nothing like open, opening vintage packs. You gotta experience this at least once. 
this pack is 1980, so that means that this pack is 43 years old this year. 43 years old, this pack was supposed to be opened, and it has made it this far. And I'm going to tell you right now that most of the time these are, they have some deterioration and some glue problems of drying out, some dry, drying on the glue, and these open really easy. I think these packs are really sealed real nice still. These were properly stored, which rarely is the case. I'm going to take my time to get into this pack. You know, I mean, part of the experience is actually opening the pack. It, it, part of it is what you get inside, but part of it's actually just opening the pack. And as I go here, if this takes a long time, I'll just speed through any of the eight parts. Okay, Make some separation here. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Oh, one of the cards from ELO. So we've got, this is a multi-card uh, card here, ELO. Oh, a Joe Jackson card, very nice. Very nicely centered as well. Wow. Look at Joe Jackson, look at ELO. And the Buzzcocks, this is a, a two card set. I have got both cards of the Buzzcocks already. So look at this. This is uh, card number one of ELO. I believe it's a two card, a two part card. There's ELO right there. ELO right there. So ELO at Pine Knob back in the day. That was a long time ago. If you don't know what Pine Knob is, it's Pine Knob Music Theater in Clarkston, Michigan. Everyone great has, has played there. Joe Jackson. Very nice Joe Jackson card. There's Joe Jackson. And card number 40 of the Buzzcocks. There's that there. Here, let me show it here first. Card number 40 of the Buzzcocks. And there we go right there. 41 is the other half of this card. So I'll just leave these cards out. That was exciting. That was the freebie right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the deterioration of the glue. Oh my gosh, no way. No way. One of the cards I really need is on right on the top here. Please be in nice shape. That card is unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, and there's a Stevie Wonder as well. Holy moly. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Elton John. That is a beautiful card. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to move this Stevie because we already know who that is, over the other card, because I want the other card to be a surprise. Um, not bad centering on the Elton John. You'll be able to see that this is about a 60-40. As far as the centering, left to right. Top to bottom looks pretty acceptable. Maybe a little thin on the top. Let me see if there's any damage to this card at all. It's card 101, the back is very clean. And there's Elton John right there. I just pulled that from a pack. Very excited about that. Very, very. Stevie Wonder. Really nice. 60-40 card. The, other, the third card is the Nolans. Uh, Stevie Wonder. Right there. There, Stevie. Awesome. I'm really excited about that pack. 
and uh, last is uh, the card of the Nolans and there we go right there Wow an Elton John and a Stevie Wonder in the same pack very solid Let's put this over here Pack number three. Oh, here we go. We got a little bit of a separation. The three degrees. No one is With really nice centering. Not one that's on my top list, but nonetheless. There it is right there. Beautiful. Put that over here. 10 cc. And that is actually has some really nice centering. It's part of a two card, part of a two card uh, set. It takes two cards to make the set and make the picture. This is card 104. It's card 105, I believe, is the uh, second card for the set. And here's Mike Oldfield. Mike Oldfield. Card number 22. Beautiful cards. beautiful cards, beautiful condition. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to get back in touch with the, the seller of these and see what else he has for me. Next pack, Blondie pack. This one is kind of just leafing open a little bit. It's a little drier than the others. Okay. Just do it this way. First card Dana. Okay. Let's get Dana up here. Dana. Show Dana to you there. Nice card. It's got good centering on it. Nice condition card. And nothing like opening packs of cards that are just like perfect. That's incredible. Next one. Dexy's Midnight Runners. Oh yeah. Come on, Amy. Dexy's Midnight Runners. And there we go right there. That's a nice little card there. It's got great centering. It's got a little bit 
of like a, I don't know if that's a, yeah, it's a printing mark, it's just black ink. It looks like, almost like a spot there, up top. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right up about there. It's just a bunch of little splotches of black uh, printing ink, so, but other than that, I mean, how, how, how much more perfect can I get? Look at this sound. That's a crazy character. Is Secret of Fear. First card, Roxy Music. It's a, uh, a split card, so it's going to take two to make the set. There's Roxy Music right there. Show that to the camera right there. Roxy Music is very nicely centered. Very gradable card there. From this deal, I end up getting two Michaels. 
I would say he's probably the number two card in this uh, set, in my opinion. I'm trying to think of who else is in here. Uh, yeah, I think he would be the number two card in this set. There he is, right there. I'm going to check him out in just a second and see uh, what kind of condition he's in. He's a little off center. He's about uh, 65, 35, 65 percent on the right hand side, 35 percent on the left. Top to bottom, he looks good. And back looks nice and clean. What a great card! Well, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed that. I want to thank you for watching my video today. If you've enjoyed watching the Collecting Music Cards video series, and if you think you may want to watch more of my videos, take a second to subscribe to my channel. For those of you that would like to be notified every time I post a new video, make sure to click the notification bell. If you'd like to see some of my personal music card collection online, you can find it on my website at www.cardboardportfolio.com. And for all music card collectors, if you've recently added a great card to your collection and you're especially proud of it, tell us about it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'm sure others would too. Until next time, thanks for stopping by.